Yeah, so I, I do believe that a lot of the people that go online are, are not very happy when, when looking at the subject matter. And that's because I think a lot of people are looking for a little bit of sanity in, in this crazy world where everyone tells you that everything's always getting better and it's going to be great forever, but uh, for the most part, it's, it's really not. And it's like, I, you know, there's nobody I know, and you can say, well, Chess Credit, you hang out with gloomy people, but there's nobody that I know that thinks that we aren't headed for some really hard times. And now, they'll say in casual conversation, you know, like, oh, the recovery, <laughs> but if you talk to them and you say, hey, what do you think about Social Security? And they'll be like, oh, it's completely screwed. What do you think about the federal debt? So, oh, Jesus, we, we are completely screwed. And it's like, yeah, until I see the trend turn around, until I see some sort of change and, you know, not have the politicians say, well, it was them that did this and we're going to do better this time. But, you know, things always continually kind of seem to go down. Like, look at the labor participation rate. If I see that turn around and start to go 45 degree up instead of down, maybe I'll agree. Maybe I'll agree that, yeah, yeah. But it's, you know, you, you kind of get the attitude of the people that maybe, I don't know if you're just being overly optimistic. Um, you know, I'm talking about like the Cosmos Gatoses, the Robbie G's. Yeah, I picture like a, a, like a Marie Antoinette. You're on, on top of this hill in a mansion with a hedge built so high you can't see the valley, nothing but mountaintops and clouds. And you're drinking Cristal out of a, uh, a golden ruby encrusted chalice. And you go, you know, that, that PD Lumina, or I'm sorry, that Chez Crita, that guy, he's just unhappy with life. And, and you know, I, I, I agree, I'm, I'm not exactly where I'd want to be, you know? Like uh, back in 2004, five, and part of six, I was making like $100,000 a year. I was doing really well. I was young and dumb and didn't save much of it. And I got my ass kicked by the economic collapse. And it, I see it continuing, man. I, I, I really do. And, and I think that, you know, you're mistaken if, if you don't think that there's a bunch of other people out there that, that are really going through a hard time. It's not just a few vocal people on, on YouTube. And I see them and people come on here for support and to say, hey, Jesus, I'm not the only asshole out there that got their ass kicked, where, where their, their house got taken away after they lost their job and their, and their wife left them with the kids. And God damn, there's, there's like tens of millions of people out there just like me, you know? And, and I think to, it's foolish to think that the world is just a bunch of like monocle wearing Cosmos Gatoses and, and Robbie G's, you know, all sitting on the hill because, you know, the greater economy as a whole is going to affect you if it gets that bad. Now, I think that eventually it will. It might turn around, but until I see the data uh, basically, you know, confirming that, I'm, I'm going to hold steadfast to my view. I mean, just look at what's going on in Europe. And, and tell me that we don't face the same problems with, with our monetary policy. Really. It's, I don't know. I don't know if, if it hurts or if it just adds material to the discussion to take a contrarian point of view, but I do know that it's very dangerous to live in complete denial without looking at all of the facts. And, and to say that, well, you know, human ingenuity is just gonna fix it and we'll, we'll figure something out without critically having something there to back it up. We're well, saying like, okay, well, here's the plan to get us out of this, you know, like the national debt. Um, this is what we're gonna do, you know? And I haven't seen any plan that doesn't involve complete, utter, catastrophic breakdown of the monetary system. And, and that always, always, like monetary systems don't crash and then all of a sudden a new one just comes in without any chaos. No, I mean, look at what's happening in Greece right now. They're having a, a bank runs over there. Because people know what's coming, they've seen it, it happens all the time in Europe, right? I mean, it's happened to many, many of the Eastern European countries, you know, just in the last year. You know, bank runs, currency, massive currency devaluations, collapses, uh, the governments are just turning over and over and over. We haven't even seen any of that here yet. And our books are worse than a lot of these countries.